back again halfway or more through this um, forest. Lady forest, Walk. So and we're closing in on that one. scary statue which is in Terrigal. Through those trees somewhere. Still have a up a Midge. Unfortunately. Midge, you want to sit? And then there's a bobinator. Now she's got one. So we would just drop it away. Or if she really likes a stick, she'd chew it. When you give Bobby a stick, he just drops it instantly. Yeah. So if you give Midge, it will keep forever. Until she gets really bored of it. Oh. Alright, we're closing on this statue. We are nearly at the end of the walk, actually. And statue. We can see the bridge over there, so yeah, we're basically at the end of what's over there. Bridge. <laughs> just over my finger right there. Come on, Midge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's dropped her um, stick. As you can see, they don't really get bothered by nettles, but we do. Yeah, a lot. Now, um, don't blame us if we get scared in this moment. Because yeah. I wonder if that's still there. But, yes, it's all there. Shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going there. We're sorry if this video just suddenly ends, but we'll make another one on to the end. Okay, we're going to get it. It's right there. It's that like ghostly figure. So it looks like a weeping angel, yeah. which is very creepy actually. From Doctor Who, if you blink, it will move towards your face. Which I'm not actually going to talk about because that's probably the scariest thing <laughs> you've probably ever heard. But we are at the end of work, not so Exactly. Well. We can run for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course, if you look away, it comes after you as well. So, oh, so if you start running and screaming, Bobby will have a wobbly probably. Like we found so out a couple of years ago. Yes, yes, Weeping Angel. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh. Okay, nothing to be worried about. We would um, take our video camera with us to go and record our boat trip on the... But we're not allowed because the boat goes so fast that it'll probably fly off the boat. And then um, that's it done. Those birds. Yeah, I'll move it mid. Just, okay, so you could just see it there. Can you see it? Creepy angel. We actually don't know what it is. It's actually naked. Yeah. But that's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Lovely image. Yeah. Yeah. And there are nice people, so they let you out. Yeah. My Look at that view. And her dog's very good. It's still a lovely, I mean, you're gorgeous, babe. Look at this. I'm sorry we didn't get to record it. Um, we'll, we'll get it to record maybe later on if we get you. But our dolphin journey is about two hours long. We'll be more recording hopefully tomorrow. We'll end this recording when we get to the heights and yeah. show you that. My granny used to live there and she's got her dog buried there. Awesome. But now my granny lives opposite me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> These dogs live with me, but we both, they act like, like the both are, the archbiss are. Yeah. Midge's actually mine, because I just, like basically got her. Sort of and like Bob's a family dog. dog. They are Bronya's dogs, but they sort of like they, feel like mine as well, because I spend a lot of time with Bronya on the dog. He does. And lovely Midge, Midge is very lovely. She's me. stupid and crazy. I think well, Midge's got a valentine. Mm. Yes, yeah, she does. She has a boyfriend. She kissed, she kissed it earlier. <laughs> it, it is actually amazing. I just, I, I just couldn't believe my eyes. It was amazing. She's a collie though, so I don't think she would be going out with a dog with such like twice the size of her. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> yeah. Her. But she loves him, and he cries to come out, and They're really nice. They're they really love each other. Friends. They share like sometimes. They live next to each other. His name's Orlando, and yeah. We live next to each other. When he's down on the links and he's playing a ball, he all shares it with Midge. Yeah. And they live right off the other, so yeah. Well, they, well, Bronya lives right next to yeah. him. So. And it doesn't really help because he's an English teacher at our school. Exactly. His owner. She's older. Yeah. yeah, the dog is an English teacher. Come on, dog. Oh, yeah, they're coming up to the house just nearly there. The dogs will get on in a minute. Yeah! Well, but we're trying to train Bob really well so he can get fully done. We might even road. record a little bit while we're going down the hill to show you what he's like so far. Yeah, he's, he's, not, very, very, he's not very good. Um, he's done alright, actually. Only done again, but not to up there. Then <coughs> um, back. Creepy how we walk that far. 
Yeah, oh my word, I almost clipped over a stick. I'm stepping over everything today. Yeah. You can hear a car there. So we're coming to the main road. The wall. Bobby is a very friendly dog. He's always looking for the wall. Not to dogs though. Yeah, he's not very... Nice he to dog. really like it when dogs sniffing from. Yes, but like... he's really friendly to people. He's always looking for attention. And, and our best gets... Mm. Mickey sort of just wants to... Have fun. With the ball. But Head that way. We trained her now. She used to be useless. She used to just think it was a game that we were trying to get the ball. And now she's starting to get the point of what? Okay. The point is dropping. Maybe. So yeah, we're going to end the video now. And then we're going to get you in a couple of minutes. So we're going so yeah, we to show you Bob going down the hill. Okay, yeah, thank you. We go out that gate and then we'll video in and we'll see you back here in... Wait a minute, okay? A few minutes. Bye. Bye.